here on behalf of a South Carolina company, a poor county where the workers, when they started organizing for labor unions, the company hired people to pour manure down on the side of the roads and the streets where they had to walk to go door to door to ask people. Workers over here at the GT Tire Plant has have been faced with some of the worst working conditions in our state. Uh, folks being work, uh, forced to work overtime. We worked so much overtime. I felt like I was working two shifts. When we complained, it just fell on deaf ears. We worked seven days due to short staff. Uh, they gave you one flex day off, and due to your flex day, they may ask you to work that day due to the fact that there was 12-hour shifts and we didn't have enough people to cover our shifts to make a 12-hour, so we had to work the extra hours over. When COVID hit the plant, there were employees who were allowed to work, even though they had tested positive for COVID, but upper management told them not to say anything about it, just keep on working. Come back, and when COVID hit, they sent me home with the rest of them with the understanding I was coming back. Then I find out, oh, well, you've been fired. And, and the sole reason behind what they were telling me was because they, they said I was talking to people about a union. It was mostly just an intimidation tactic. They had scared so many employees. What is good for GT workers is that they have a safe working environment. Yeah. What is good for GT workers is that they have an uh, administrator who listen to them. We are standing strong. Yeah. Standing strong. Standing strong. strong. All right.